Hi everyone. Um, I've been running across a couple of common mistakes in vibrato in my own private students. And if they're making those mistakes, probably a lot of people are. So I want to just point them out. Um, one is up in the beginner position where I like to start my students um, up in what I call purfling position where the hand rests on the shoulder. And the mistake that a lot of students make is they don't, they don't arrive at purfling position with a straight wrist, so they're reaching too high. So they're reaching for notes way above the purfling. The reason it's called purfling position is because your fingertip is going to want to be somewhere in this fourth position area. Um, I shouldn't have said fourth position. It's just put whatever finger you're working on, put it somewhere near the purfling and check your wrist out and make sure that it's straight, not reaching over and not going back too far. So that's mistake number one, because if you're trying to start vibrato from a, this shape, it's just not going to happen as easily for you because there's no room. There's nowhere to go for that vibrato. With a straight wrist, you can go higher and lower. You have lots of rocking room. So that's mistake number one, common mistake number one. Number two is just simply trying to imitate a professional vibrato by going too fast because students perceive vibrato as being super, super fast. And so they try to, to imitate that and it ends in a spastic machine gun type vibrato. So opt for a slower vibrato, especially if you're just beginning to learn this process. I have a course called Simple Songs for Special Occasions. It doesn't describe what it does. It uses simple songs. Well, you walk away from the course knowing simple songs for special occasions like Happy Birthday and um, New Year, uh, Auld Lang Syne for New Year's and uh, well, you'll have to check it out to see. He's a jolly good fellow. All kinds of neat simple songs. But we use those simple songs for more powerful reasons, and that is to access advanced technique with an easy song. One of those advanced techniques is vibrato and learning to use your vibrato in a song while keeping it under control. So you can check out that simple songs. I'll put a link down in the video description box below. But like just today, I had a student demonstrate her vibrato for me and she started doing kind of a fast tonalization and I was like "Ooh, okay we gotta pull that back and calm it down and make it a little less exciting and when you slow vibrato down it's a little bit boring and maybe a little uninspiring but trust me the result is not boring and it's very exciting so I had her go back to Go tell Aunt Rhody really slow. Or you could play fourth finger. And she immediately sounded beautiful. Immediately. So the challenge is learning to take that boring vibrato and apply it to a beautiful piece, keep it under control and boring, and it's just not boring anymore. It's gorgeous and fat and round. So those are the two most common mistakes this week. <laughs> if I start seeing other common mistakes, then I will post another video. All right. Thanks, everyone.